You're gonna need a piece of paper. Everybody needs to get a piece of paper out so you can work the problems the out on. You just hold on to that. I'll take those up later. It says review. It says area and perimeter review. Okay, well, click on my screen that has the thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to put the question up here. Everybody's going to work it out on their own first. And then we will go over it. If you get more than 15 correct on your own, you'll get a piece of candy. What is the area of a square if one side is 10 inches long? Do it on your paper. Do not say it out loud. Just do it on your paper. Do it on your paper. Don't say it out loud. Just do it on your paper, please. can't say our answer yet. We're not saying our answer yet. There's a what? There's an iPhone alarm in my background, so I know where it is. Well, it's not anybody here.
is the area of a square. We know a square has how many sides that are equal? Four, four. four sides that are all equal. Now mine's not to scale, but so if one side is 10, that means the other side is what? 10. 10. So I'm doing the area. Area equals what? Area equals the length times the width. That's too many U's. So the length is 10, and the width is also 10. So that means our area is what? 100. 100. The answer is D. should be working on number two. Let me read it. The dining room in Shanna's home is rectangular in shape and measures eight feet long by nine feet wide. What is the area of the dining room floor? Give me a sign if you need another second. All right, so we are going to look at this one. It says the dining room in Shana's house is a rectangular shape. So I'm gonna draw me a rectangle. It measures eight feet long and nine feet wide. It says what is the area of the dining room floor. So area equals length times width. So that would be eight times nine. And eight times nine is what? 72. If you got it, give yourself a check. It says the bathroom floor in Tommy's house is eight feet long and six feet wide as shown below. It says what is the area of the bathroom floor in Tommy's house?
there yet in those questions. Why is there such a mess on your floor around your bed? shown below. It said, what is the area of her garden? What is the area of her garden? You want to work this one? First time I worked it out here. Can we do something to kill something? No. Okay, is it
I'm doing the problem too. Don't say your answer yet. I should not be talking, please. Should not be talking.
look, look at this problem. I did. Twice. I got it right twice. Both ways I did it. Give myself a... Where's my pen? Whenever I get tired of doing work. It's right here.
Alex, we can hear you. Wonderful. Now let's look at this problem. Sixteen times two. So I say sixteen times two. Six times two is twelve. Put down my two. Regroup my one. Two times one is one. Two times one is two. Plus one is three. Thirty-two is your answer. Or you can do repeated addition. You did 16 plus 16. All right, next question. Josh wants to put a shade on top of a rectangular dog pen that is 10 feet long by 5 feet wide. What is the area of Josh's dog pen that needs to be covered? Dog pen is 10 foot 
by five foot. He wants to put a shade on his rectangular dog pen as him by what is the area that needs to be covered? So 10 times five equals 50. 50. have different angle measures. Okay, let's look at this problem. centimeters squared and then the area of this one is going to be 16 centimeters squared so do they have different areas yes yes so the answer is b let's check the other one so the figures have the same dimension that's not true because if it was this would be an eight by two or this would be a five by five and says the figures have different angle measures. They do not because rectangles and squares have the same angle measures in the corner. They're 90 degrees. Let's 
next question. Let's try this one. It says the options listed below give the dimensions of different rectangles with an area of 60 square inches. Which dimension will result in the largest perimeter? That means you're going to have to work out each one of the problems. Each one of the um, things and figure out which one has the largest perimeter. Each one of the choices. Work out each choice. Yes. work out a single one of the problems. So I'm not taking that answer.
Yes, that would be, I mean, if you did the permit on all four sides, that would be great, too. Yes. This is area A and perimeter review. Five bar. So what do you have to do for each one of these choices is you have to solve the perimeter for it. Remember, perimeter is length plus length plus width plus width. So, you say, well, maybe. You say 20 plus 20 plus 3 plus 3. 20 plus 20 is 40, 40 plus 3 is 46, then you say 10 plus 10 plus 6 plus 6, so 10 plus 10 is 20, 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 10 is, I mean 10 plus 20 is 32, and then Fifteen plus fifteen plus four plus four. Fifteen plus fifteen is thirty. Four plus four is eight. Parameter is thirty-eight. And then this one is thirty plus thirty plus two plus two. Thirty plus thirty is sixty plus two plus two is four. That would be 64. That would be, it would be D, the greatest, largest perimeter. Humongous humongous perimeter ever. Humongous. Humongous, humongous. Humongous, humongous. We need a pipe. No. Who's saying that so again? Humongous. Maybe. Humongous. All right, it says a rectangle that measures 16 feet by four feet has the same area as a square that measures eight feet on each side. What is the difference in their perimeters? Um, you have to figure out the area perimeter of both of them and then figure out the difference. You Because they're doing what they're supposed to. We're reviewing.
What's the question asking me? Hold on, I gotta work it out. Okay, let's look at this problem. It says a rectangle that measures 16 by 4, 4 by 16 and a square that measures eight feet on each side, what is the difference in their perimeters? So I need to figure out the perimeter for this first one and then the second one. So perimeter be 16 plus 16 plus four plus four. So 16 plus 16 plus four plus four. 16 plus 16 is 32. 4 plus 4 is 8. 32 plus 8 is 40. Now, do I need to stop right there? Now, we're going to have to do the perimeter of this one. So, 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. Well, 8 plus 8 is 16. 16. 16 plus 16 is 32. But it says, what is the difference in their perimeters? So difference means I need to subtract. 40 minus 32. 10 minus, it is eight feet. The difference is eight feet. has the same area as a square with six feet on each side. What is the difference in feet in their perimeter? It's the same type of question. The same type of question.
at this problem. Got my pen down again. Okay, let's look at this problem. A rectangle with the dimensions of a not, hey Alex, nine foot by four foot. And then a square. And a square as six foot on each side. It says, what's the difference in the perimeters? So I need to do my perimeter for this one. Nine plus nine plus four plus four. So nine plus nine is 18. Four plus four is eight. 18 plus 4 is 26. 26. And then the perimeter of the square is 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. But I need to know the difference. So now I need to say 26 minus 24, which would give me two. Very good. Dimension describes a rectangle with a perimeter of 28. So you've got to figure out what the perimeter is by using your choices. Last one.
20. The 20 says each option describes a re rectangle with an area of 24 square centimeters. Which dimension describes a rectangle with a perimeter of 28 centimeters? So, we got to add and find the perimeter of all of the rectangles that they have given us. They've given us four. So, we're, excuse me, excuse me, thank you, thank you very much. So, let's go to the problems. Let's say, this is going to be 24 plus 24 plus the one plus the one. 24 plus 24 is 48. 48 plus two is 50. Now, I'm going to go two plus two plus 12 plus 12. Oh, that's a two, sorry. So, two plus two is four. 12 plus 12 is 24. 24 plus four is 28. But let's keep going to make sure we didn't do it wrong. <coughs> let's go C plus C plus S plus S. <coughs> C plus C is 6. X plus X is 16. 16 plus 6 is 22. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. 